Saudi Arabia and Russia announced oil production cuts and Brent rose. Why are they cutting production when prices are already on the rise? This is yet another sign that we might be headed for trouble. It's all started with real estate slump last year in China. Ongoing reports of cities after cities of unoccupied dwellings raised concerns of a possible crisis ahead. And now these highly indebted developers are starting to default. China typically has much higher savings rate than its Western counterparts and property investment have been a popular way to realize capital appreciation. Situation got so bad that last month the officials have stopped publishing youth unemployment figures after reaching 21.3% in June. According to Reuters China's July crude imports dropped to the lowest since January and they are the world's largest importer of oil. Further contraction of import demand from China may lead to sudden downward pressure on oil prices, so it can be seen as a preemptive move. But as we head into autumn, rising oil prices have far greater consequences. Particularly as conflict in Gabon and prospect of a devastating hurricane Adalia have set the stage for inventories to run low. European experience of the energy crisis stemming from Russia's war on Ukraine led to far stickier effects on inflation that took much longer to cool. Inflation largely transitory. And they'll be transitory. That's, that's a transitory thing. And cost of living crisis may deepen into 2024. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Follow the trend.